Hi guys, I'm back with another video, um, not a haul video. Today is going to be a DIY. We are going to make a mini faux apothecary jar for Christmas time, but you can fill this with whatever you want um, once Christmas is over. Um, so what you're going to need is some glue, and all of this stuff is from the Dollar Tree. Every single thing here is from the Dollar Tree. So... And I'm going to show you some options if you can't find some of these things that you could use instead. So you're going to need some super glue. This is called the Fix All Adhesive. And I cannot remember the girl's name. I saw she used this on her channel and she said it worked really well. So I will link her video below where she uses this if I can find it. You're also going to need one of these glass candlesticks. Um, any glass candlestick from the Dollar Tree should work. They have the taller, skinnier ones. I just like this one because it's a little sturdier, so I went with this one. You're also going to need their one of these vases. They have different sizes. Just try to pick the tallest and the widest. At least that's how I chose it. And actually, I'm going to be putting this inside. So just make sure that whatever you put inside that you want to put inside of your apothecary jar can fit inside of the vase that you choose. You're also going to need one of these little glass jars that has the lid on it. Um, any glass jar with a lid will do. So if you can't find this particular one, you could also use one of the little candles with a jar. I hauled this in a previous video. This will work. and. You could also, if you find this style jar, you could use this. You're only using the lid, so just find a jar with a lid, and you don't want the lid to be bigger than the base of the base. That rhymes. I did not mean for that to rhyme, but um, so you could use, like I said, any jar with a lid like this on it. And I would recommend it being a glass jar as well. Also, if you cannot find any of the glass jars with a lid on it, you could use a clear marble. And I believe that the Dollar Tree does carry the flat marbles that are clear, so you could pick up a bag of those if you wanted. I really like this ornament. It fits perfectly in the vase that, we're, that I'm going to be using, so I went with this one. And you could really... I mean, it's up to you what you want to fill your apothecary jar with. You could use just the plastic ornaments and fill it all the way up. You could use a bottle brush tree, anything that you really want. I also saw some of the Christmas figurines. You could spray paint those or leave them plain and put them inside. So it's really up to you. You can just be creative to do whatever you want. So the last thing that you're going to need is a candle holder. I picked up this mirrored one because I liked it best, but if you cannot find this mirrored one, the Dollar Tree also has this candle holder, um, which will work just, just fine. Um, I would recommend finding a, a round circular candle holder um, just because it's going to fit best with the um, base that you're going to be using, but if you can only find the square one, that would probably work just fine as well. It's, I mean, it's really up to you what you want your apothecary jar to look like. So the first thing that we're going to do is create the, the lid for the apothecary jar and the base. So let's start with the base. What you're going to want to do is get your glue ready and you're going to take your candlestick and you're going to put the glue around the edges of the candlestick. This doesn't really have to be perfect because no one's really going to see this. But if you're a perfectionist, feel free to, you know, do it a little better than I did. And you're going to try to set this um, candle holder as centered as possible. So maybe you want to flip it over to do this press them together. This super glue says, um, it says to apply to both surfaces um, that are being glued. I just applied to the one, but I think it's going to be fine. It says, let it dry for 10 minutes and press parts together. Maximum strength is achieved in 24 hours. 
So we're going to let that dry. And then next, you're going to want to take the lid from your jar. Now typically these lids will have this kind of like clear plastic thing, which is what secures it inside of the jar. You're gonna to wanna to take that off. Um, it might take you a second to pull off, that's why I did it beforehand. But um, you could just take pliers or take it off with your teeth, which is what I did, but I don't recommend you doing that. <laughs> so you are going to flip your vase over and if there's a sticker, make sure you take the sticker off. And we're gonna kind of repeat the same process we did with the base. So you're going to glue around the edges stick as centered as possible and then um, you can use this to I don't know you could put a candle in here you could put your makeup brushes use it as a pencil holder you can use this for something else but we are not going to be using it for the rest of this project in the meantime while you wait for these to dry you can cut the tag off of your ornament brig on your house you can pull that off as well because the back side is the exact same as the front so I mean you no one even has to see the glue dot in the back if you were to take this off Go for it. okay guys so I did let this dry for 10 minutes um, so the next step that you're gonna want to do is put your ornament or whatever you want to go in your apothecary jar on the base as centered as you can get it. I not I'm not going to glue this down, but if you wanted this to be a permanent Christmas um, apothecary jar, you could glue this all together, but I do want to try to use it um, you know, after Christmas, so I'm not going to glue the lid to the base or the ornament to the base or anything like that. Um Okay, so, and I did not let this dry for 24 hours um, to achieve the maximum amount of glue strength, so I'm not going to lift it up by the top, um, but it does seem like it's pretty sturdy on there, so that's good. So all you're going to do now is put the lid on and... Keep it centered on there and you're all done. You have your faux apothecary jar and it costs about $5 for everything to make it and it's super easy and takes just about 10 minutes to do. I think it looks really high end for just a fraction of the price. Um, I know that apothecary jars can cost, oh gosh, they can cost a lot of money depending on where you go. But even if you go to a discounted place like Home Goods or TJ Maxx, they're still going to cost you, you know, at least $12. So this is a nice alternative if you are a crafter like me and if you don't feel like spending the extra money to get something that looks basically the same as this. And guys, I do want to say that um, when I walked into Dollar Tree today, I was inspired by a display that they had set up. They had this ornament sitting on a plate with a vase similar to this on top and they had some greenery and ornaments around it. It inspired me to turn it into an apothecary jar so um, I guess shout out to whoever did that at Dollar Tree because that was a good idea and it really I just snowballed off of that. So that's it for my first DIY. If you guys are interested in the other Christmas DIYs that I have planned I have some cute ones coming up and I would be happy to uh, make a video out of it. So thank you for stopping by. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you like this video, and I hope to see you back.